A year ago, the small town of Paradise, California was devastated by the massive campfire. But now the community has a new reason to cheer. This Saturday, the town's high school football team will play a game that could bring them one step closer to a state championship. Jonathan Vigliotti is in Los Angeles. All right, Jonathan, why is this game so meaningful? Paula, good morning to you. The Paradise Bobcats are undefeated for the first time in 15 years. It's hard to believe considering what the team has been through. One player telling me it's not just about winning, but replanting the roots of a lost town. On this Friday night, lights shine on a 12 and 0 team, not because of its winning record, but because of the loss it's had to overcome to get here. We have so much more to play for than just football. It's been a year since the most destructive wildfire in California history ripped through paradise, killing 86 people and destroying about 14,000 homes. The front door would be right there. Most of the players, including running back Lucas Hartley, lost everything. Like many others, his family had to leave the area. Last year's team was forced to forfeit their season and faced an uncertain future. Nobody wants to tell the victim story anymore. Everyone wants to tell the story about moving forward. To do that, they return to the field, many driving 40 minutes each way to get to practice. One, two, three. One, two, three. There's still only three kids living in paradise. Football brings some normalcy for them, so they want to win, they want to be successful, and it gives them kind of an escape from all the other issues that are going on from being displaced from the fire. After the fire, it's more of a motivation to come out and have our town on our backs and then prove that after everything that's happened that we can come back stronger than we were before. And their dedication to the game is re-energizing their community. To see them play with the heart that they're playing with, it's fantastic. We have something to prove. It's incredible how many people have been coming out to the games. We show up to games an hour, two hours, three hours away, and we'll go and pack the visitors' sideline and bring more people than the home team sometimes. That support has helped push them to a perfect season. Win or lose this Saturday, these teens have already become hometown heroes. It just gives people hope that we can rebuild. It gives people hope that they can come back and live their lives here again. And those who can't come back, it just gives them a little piece of uh, what they lost. Oh, Jonathan. All right, tell me, how are the fans supporting their team ahead of this big game? Yeah, it really is an incredible comeback story, Paula. To give you an idea of just how supportive those fans are, the fire forced about 95% of the community to leave, a community of about 60,000 people. Right now, fewer than 2,000 people have returned, but reportedly three times that number, 6,000 fans show up every Friday to watch the Bobcats take to the field. That's a great story, Jonathan. Thank you so much. Thank you.